Hi guys, welcome back to another video from Car Help For You. So in today's video, what we're doing is we're changing um, the inner tie rod end and the track rod end. So we're doing the tie rod end and the track rod end. This is obviously the tie rod end. Um, has seen better days, as you can see. I have had to grind it off just because these two, it doesn't, not sure if the camera can pick that up, but they've been cleaned with a wire brush. They've been WD-40, I've used heat. These have actually kind of welded themselves together. So this, there was no choice but to grind this off. So what you will find is you'll find it on your car like this as one piece. And this is obviously in there. So what I'm going to do, since I'm telling you, I'll give you a quick top tip. So this boot here, um, when you go to take the nut off, this sometimes will spin. What to do is put an axle stand underneath it. So if I grab an axle stand, I'll give you a little demonstration if you will so what to do is obviously the car needs to be a lot higher than what it is now but what you can do is pull the pin out of there put this there and you lower the car so it sits onto here so this will go there like that and then just loosen the top off as long as there's a lot of pressure here it'll stop this from spinning which you can just take the nut off in our case when we take the nut off the nut actually snapped in half which obviously isn't what you want, but we're replacing both uh, both these parts anyway. So we're doing the inner tie rod end and the track rod end on both front. So we've done the other side, and um, I just thought I'd make a quick video to help people. Um, so once you've got it off, what you can do is you can buy like a little claw clip, so it'll go there, and you tighten the top, and it goes off. Or you can tap it here, and it'll come off. Or if you wiggle it, sometimes it comes off. So as you can see, it was a bit tight there. But ours did just come up while wiggling. As you can see, we haven't had to hit it anywhere. Um, if you are changing this, you don't really care about the threads. You can hit the top of it here. Um, like I said, you don't mind. Obviously, I've grinded it, as you can see there. So I've grinded inside of there as well. So ours is loose, as you can see there. It's inside. Ours is loose. But what I want to show you is um, an easier way to remove it. So what it is, is it's this little tool here. Um, what you do is you grab, I'll show you the tool afterwards, I'm going to show you how it works for now. So you've got the applicator tool here, you get three of these in different sizes, and they've got little rollers inside, and what they do is they grip um, on to the track rod end. So what, it do, what you do, uh, in a tie rod end, sorry. So what you do is you push it into there, and that's it, that's on there. Then you get the extension bar that it comes with, and it's not a small bar, it's a huge bar. Um, I was obviously a bit dirty right now. Um, and what you do is, what you can do is you can put that onto here, put the head onto the bar and tighten it off like that. Um, I don't really do that, I just shut it on like this, put it into there like that. And then if I come to this end over here, you've got a choice, so you can put a spanner onto there. I think it's a 16, I'm not too sure because I've never really done it. Or you can use a breaker bar. Um, you don't really want to be using an impact gun just because... It won't actually do anything. Um, I've tried it in the past on several cars and impact gun doesn't make any difference. So you do want a breaker bar and it'll go on and it'll grip it to where this won't spin. You'll slap your breaker bar in and it'll just go bang and that's it. And then it'll just feel like this and that is really loose. In fact, that's actually coming out. If I pull this tool back off, and pull the, track rod, uh, the tie rod end out so you can see that it does actually just, there you are, as you can see. So, if you're asking why I had to use this tool, so this boot was on there, like that. as you can see, this doesn't have any teeth on there. So this is round. Some of them actually have like um, spanner shapes on there. So it's like you can get a spanner on from underneath or whatnot and um, crack them off. This doesn't. So they've made this special tool for this. So I'm just gonna move out the way and I'll show you exactly what the tool actually looks like. So we know where we're putting it back. And to put it back in, it's literally the same method into the car. So what we'll do is we'll get this tool on the floor and we'll show you what you're looking at. So it comes in a nice little case like this. And you've got, like I said, you've got three heads. So there's that one. Uh, Health for the right way around. So it comes literally like that. And all you've got to do is figure out which one you need. So we were using this one. So I'm going to show you now, imagine that this is still on the car. So what you would do is obviously you would come out of the back of it and shot it onto there like that. That's then got it there and you'd spin this. And as you can see now it's locked. I'm not allowing it to spin because I've got to hold it from underneath as if it's on the car. 
and that's it it's locked it there so this will then have to it'll have to spin with the bar like that um it's because of them little rollers in there as, I, as you can see there now i paid i think i got this uh online i got it a few months back and um the last few in a tire that i've done have been the spanner one so i haven't really needed this um you can use this again for the spanner ones works even better and I, I will say it is definitely a tool that i recommend everyone to have if you do your own type of maintenance on your car um in the uk i'm not we're in the uk but i'm not too sure about whether you can hire this type of thing i do know from um someone who i've been in talk with from america that they can go to um harbor freight i think it's called and actually rent these tools so if you're watching it in a different country maybe that's an easier option for you if you're only doing it as a one-off maybe go rent the tool but if you're not and you want to buy the tool it's definitely a recommended tool and it's just called in a tire at end um removal tool so it's definitely a good to uh good tool to have and this method what i've just showed you you can do it on almost any any car uh well not almost you can practically do it on any car but i'm just going to show you if you want to tighten it back up so when it goes to tighten it back up you've got your track rod end obviously it'll spin that way and it'll just come to the certain point where it'll be stuck so now that's stuck i can't turn that anymore and what you do is you just turn it that way like that with your breaker bar on the end and it'll just tighten so all in all this will go inside of there like that and there you are you can't see the track rod end from the back side obviously this is where it goes into the car um definitely do put it on with a few threads by your hand first and then use this tool but um as far as tool reviews go this is definitely a brilliant one. and this isn't a markup of any like any expensive mark like laser or snap on or anything it's just a standard one as you can see it's just a standard one it's definitely recommended i thought make a quick video and i'll show you how to remove it anyway guys if this has helped please like share and subscribe thank you